So listen, today I want to talk to you about something that you as an investor or any other business owner constantly have to deal with, but unfortunately a lot of us, we don't deal with it. So about 30 minutes ago, I had a pretty tough conversation with somebody sitting right in this chair. And it was, it was one of our real estate agents, super duper agent, just killing it for us. You know, really important to our team. But the bottom line is this agent was doing something without even realizing that was harming him. And I, I said, listen, if I know something about you that, uh, that you probably don't even know yourself, would you want me to tell you about it? And he was straight up forward. Yeah, absolutely. And I told him. It was a little bit uncomfortable, but in the end, it was the absolutely right thing to do. And there's no question, because of what I just told this agent, he's going to be a better agent. So here's my question to you. How many people on your team are doing certain things that maybe they shouldn't be doing or, shouldn't, or, or could be doing better, and you're just too uncomfortable to talk to them about it? For instance, you may have a realtor that's putting a lot of offers in for you, but they're just not doing what they're supposed to be doing, and you're afraid, boy, if I... If I tell something to this realtor, they may not want to give me deals anymore. Uh, you may have a contractor that's behind on something or maybe did something incorrectly. And instead of having that uncomfortable conversation of, hey, I, I, you need to fix that, you're like, well, I'm just, I'm just going to let that slip by. It could be somebody that works in your office staff that you're just afraid of making feel uncomfortable and, and you'd rather not have those discussions. So check it out. Look at the people around you. Look at the people on your staff, on your team, maybe contractors, maybe suppliers, anyone you're dealing with. And if you know something about them that they themselves aren't even realizing that will make them better, maybe a better attorney, maybe a better realtor, maybe a better negotiator, my challenge to you is go ahead and have that tough, tough, tough conversation. In the end, they really don't even turn out to be tough. A little bit uncomfortable, but in the end, everybody wins. So this is just one of the many things that I teach uh, my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients that I work with. I teach them how to be successful, how to do a bunch of deals, and I teach them how to build their staff and, and infrastructure around them. So to learn more about how I could work with you directly in my one-on-one -on -one real estate coaching program, just uh, go to my website, www.coachingbypeter.com, or just text directly to my cell phone, 404 915-9685, the word coaching. Thanks, guys.